Hey kids, comics. So we heard Bronze Age Babe here yakking about her comic book collection and today talking about the Lois Lane maxi series uh, called Enemy of the People. Uh, I picked up issue number three the other day and um, I am thoroughly enjoying this series. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about uh, was the art on this issue. Um, when I saw this, on the, this is the, the, um, the regular cover and there's the uh, variant, you know, the portraits that they're doing of Lois Lane. Um, I think they're all by female artists and, you know, so far so good. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Um, but there's something about this cover that immediately caught my attention um, and just made me uh, smile from ear to sagging ear. And that is a cover from 1971, Lois Lane's own book, uh, with the typewriter. Um, there's an image in here that has always stuck with me. You know, Lois's superpower, she, I, to my way of thinking, she has two of them. Uh, one is uh, her ability as a journalist. Um, and two is, uh, not to be too gooey about it, but love. Lois Lane is all about love. Uh, but anyway, that, that image um, from this story uh, always stayed with me, and I just, I always adored it. And if you are, um, if you're wandering around the antique malls or the dollar bins or whatever, and you see this Lois Lane story, uh, do yourself a favor and pick it up. It's, uh, it's a very fun one. It really is. But um, going back to this uh, maxi series, the um, I am like I say, I really want to talk a, a little bit about why I'm digging this art. Um, it's uh, you know the story. I can uh, I might chat a little bit at some other point about what's going on in the story, so I'm not going to spoil anything. But Mike Perkins doing the art and the cover, um, and Paul Mount, the colorist here. Um, I, I just can't say enough about it. I really like it. It's, um, dark and foreboding as the story itself is. Um, it's, uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of the best that this medium, it's very, you know, cinematic and, and yet very comic booky. Um, the... Thing I do want to talk a little bit about is, um, you know, <laughs> Lois Lane and uh, Superman flying, taking flight, is an image that, uh, particularly since the um, first Superman movie came out, um, a very, you know, it's turned into a little tropey kind of thing. But I have to tell you, they have a full page um, example of this in, in this number three. And I'll tell you what, I lingered on it. I really did. Um, I think it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So, um, so suffice to say, I'm I'm digging uh, uh, this series, and um, I cannot. My only beef is that I want it to keep going, and I get very disappointed when the the book ends. <laughs> so, but I'll be picking up each one and each variant every month until they wrap this story up. It's good stuff. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.